Yo, yo, I'm gonna make sure the camera's on. All right, here we go, yes. All right, so this video is in response to uh, Jamie Smith. Jamie asked me, he's been following me for years, and I wanted to uh, start answering questions of my supporters. What kind of split do I do? What body parts on what day? So I'm gonna answer that to the best of my ability. It's a tough question in this video. And then I'm going to, then I'm going to do my last set of rack pulls for deadlifts, for back mainly just because I want you to see my technique and maybe critique it, because I'm doing rack pulls, which means you're doing a deadlift not off the floor, but a little bit higher than traditional. And this is my heavy set. I gotta be transparent with you, it takes some courage. It takes some courage. I dropped a dumbbell on my toe, big toe, for the first time in 19 years of full-time training. I lucked out, man. Uh, but anyway, so that's why I was slowing it down. So, I'm experimenting with, uh, deadlifts and doing rack pulls and then we'll so it's twofold first the split and then the rack pulls okay it's split it's pretty simple in my book if you're training with intensity to failure getting those last two or three reps you never thought you could get minimum sets and reps because you're doing my slow go technique and getting everything out of the sets as possible you want to train each body part one time per week and maybe one or two week body parts one and a half times per week that means you tap it again two or three days later with more squeezing, feeling, light things like isometric posing and some unique movements that you haven't hit in the past during your one time when you hit the, hit the body part. Do traditional exercises. There's no magic formula. I post them up on my YouTube channel. Go check them out. So how do you split it down apart? What split? So it depends on how many days a week you got. It's gotta be, uh, you know, I'm, I'm usually training, not gym rats. I'm usually training busy business people that don't have, act, that aren't regularly going to the gym. So if it's if you're getting to the gym three days per week, I like to piece together chest and biceps, they're non-competing upper body, back and triceps, and legs and shoulders. You hit one, you hit one exercise for chest, rest, and then hit one exercise for biceps. Then go back and hit your second set for chest, second set for biceps. And that's because most old school bodybuilders do chest and triceps. So rule. 101 for personal training is have the client or you do something different than you've been doing. So that's the three day split. Three or three, four exercises, two to three sets per exercise. Start out failing at 14 rep range, second set, bring it down to 12 or 11 or 10. Last set, if you do three sets, eight or nine reps, repetitions. So there you go, there's the three day split. Now if you get a four day split, um, it gets a little harder to train the weak body, two weak body parts at half a time, but you can still do it uh, if you're paying attention to your recovery techniques and your nutrition. So four day split would probably be something like this. Chest, chest and rear shoulders. So chest and then pulls for shoulders. And then the second day is back and front shoulder deltoids, not competing. So, uh, and then the third day is arms, bicep, tricep, and then the fourth day is legs. That's the four day split. I'm just gonna, that's my, and then you can still hit two weak body parts one and a half times, hit them the two to three days after, preferably three or four days after you hit them once to failure and hit them, tap them with light, squeezing isometric movements and some posing. All right, if you want more information on that, uh, comment below, we'll talk it out in my next video if you want some more body part splits, but that's body part splits 101, okay? Now for the back. So I'm gonna do two different variations, set the, the bar all the way down, pause, recollect myself, and then drive up. Like I said, I'm gonna back up. This is the heaviest set I've done in years because my full hip replacement surgery in February, but I'm coming along real well, recovering real good, so this is three plates. Take some balls on my part to do my heavy set at the end of my day, training clients in my station here, but I'm, I wanna do it anyway, I wanna see my own form, okay? And then you guys can critique it down below. At the end, I'm gonna do two or three little, I'm not gonna pause, and I'm gonna come back up. It's a unique micro rep strategy. It's been feeling good so far, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use hand straps, no weight belt, all right? Three plates on each side, so here we go. Just decompressing my vertebra and my spine. So here we go. How do you like the new facial hair? Ah.
Here we go. Take the round side of the back for about three. Take the round side of the back for about three seconds. Big breath in, stiff arms, and then exhale out as you drive up. Probably shouldn't have done that last rep, but you guys were putting pressure on me by watching, so I went for it. A little bit of roundness in the lower back, but it felt safe. Comment below and let me know what you think. Let me know what video you want tomorrow. You do have the power to change to make the rest of your life the best of your life.